If you have a snapped off bolt, and it's stuck in your guide pin, I'm going to show you what to do. Um, there are many methods, but uh, in my case, I did the simplest one. I will tell you this, that um, I did not do the extractor. I did not have to do it for mine. When I torqued it, it broke. Uh, I am specifically speaking about cars that are like a Chrysler 300 uh, Dodge or Jeep. Um, with these guide pins, maybe some GM vehicles, this might apply. And I decided to do the easiest approach. But I will also explain the more uh, difficult approach if need be, but hopefully you won't have to do that. But here's the thing. If you don't want to save this vault and it's stuck inside here, just pull these out and buy, buy a new set. $10. That's it. Got new guide pins then and, uh, and bolts. However, before you decide to go out and buy this and waste your time looking it up and spending money, just a quick look at this and see if you can actually get it out. So these are all the tools you might use, you might not. First thing to do, you might want to do is put some PB Blaster on it and heat it up. Then if you can, you're going to use either needle nose pliers or a regular pair of pliers to just uh, take this out. You'll use a vise. And if you still can't get it off with the heat and if you can't even get a grip on it, then of course you will need an extraction kit of sorts. My method I was able to use was the first method with the pliers. Um, but the second step is just to use an extractor, which I did not do in this video. Even using the extractor set is, is not difficult. You just need to um, put your power drill in reverse and drill right through the center and it will slowly come out. It's really, really easy. I'm going to show you now how to remove this thread from the guide pin. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a 15 millimeter socket and ratchet. Your bolts might vary. And let's see if I can get mine out with these. And it's already spinning a little too easy. And of course, see, broke. Broke off as well. So let's first you know, see if I can just pull it off. See if it slides off. I'm guessing it won't. Grab a flat tip. Okay, got the top one off. Good. So right here, if I did this on the top, I push that. I'm gonna push this right here. And see also right there where my finger is, I'm pushing that back. And Now just secure your caliper piston with a bungee cord. So these are the caliper pins, the sliding ones. Here's the good news. The thread is right there. So the good news is this. I can just pull this straight out. There we go. That's one. And let's grab this one. There we go. They came out very easily. Grab your guide pins and just clean it real good. Okay, grab a vise and put the vise right here. Then what you can do is you could um, spray some like penetrating oil or PB blast around it and potentially heat it up. I at one point did get these off. So and then when I tried tightening them, I over torqued it and snapped, so I, I don't believe I need to use heat or penetrating oil. I'm going to use a pair of pliers because it looks like I can fit it on here. And let's see if I can get it. Ooh, and I think I'm able to just turn it. Okay, good. Get grip on it. Every time I twist it, I'll put the pliers on so I can get more of the threads. It's just easier to turn that way. This looks good. 
Excellent. Look at that. Got that little piece off. Once you get the thread out, make sure your threads are actually good. In my case, they are. And then get the correct bolt. This is the size bolt. Uh, it's 20 millimeters long and it's a hex kind. And then obviously just quickly test it that it screws in. Or if you don't really want to use these guide pins anymore or if they're not good, I mean, then uh, of course you can buy a new set. Now is also a great time to inspect the boots. If you need boots, new boots, then you'll have to buy that as well. It's kind of expensive for the boots though. If the boots are bad or if they're in bad shape, in my case, mine are good, but um, if your boots are in good shape, just put some grease on here, put in the caliper, screw it back on, and make sure you, that you torque it to the right specification. You can use Silk Glide or some other kind of grease. Put some grease on the pins, smooth it out with your finger, grease on it. Now put your caliper pillars in. There we go. Now let's do the bottom one. There we go. There we go. Just wipe away the excess grease on the outside. Just make sure it slides nicely. Remove the bungee cord and replace the caliper over the brake pads. Uh, and this is why it's good that there's grease on here. This should make it easier to slide on. And line up the bolts. Line up the bolts by hand first, thread it in by hand. Place your 18 millimeter wrench and your 15 millimeter socket on a torque wrench and you will tighten it to 23 foot pounds.